Hello. Today, I would like to tell you more about healthy living and emissions from wood-based products. Did you know that people spend up to 90% of their lives indoors? There are many factors that influence indoor air quality. But what are the influencing factors? The biggest health influencing factors are fuels, such as oil, natural gas or coal, tobacco smoke or allergens such as mites or animal hair. But bacteria, for example from air conditioning systems, moisture and mold also affect the indoor air quality. The influence of VOCs is comparatively low here. But what exactly are VOCs? VOC is the English shortcut for volatile organic compounds. These are substances that have a gaseous state at room temperature. VOCs also occur in nature. There are thousands of substances that are released into the atmosphere by trees, fruits or grasses, for example from apple or orange trees. VOCs are also contained in everyday consumer goods, for example in clothing, cosmetics, cleaning agents, candles, and the entire furnishings also play a major role here. Curtains, carpets, and even the fruit bowl on the table also release VOCs. You can smell VOCs quite often, but not every smell is harmful. The natural smell of wood, which is known from wood-based materials, supports, for example, a healthy sleep. Good to know, the VOC concentration is decisive for indoor air quality. But VOCs also volatilize again. Let's take the smell of a new car or the scent of an orange peel as an example. VOCs will be released here as well, which volatilize again after a certain period of time. What can we do to improve indoor air quality? If possible, ventilate regularly, put up plants, find out about low emission products from wall paint to furniture, if Egger products are used indoors, they are usually coated. This coating has a major impact on emissions. The closed surface literally encloses them and automatically reduces emissions. And because the production of healthy living products is so important to us at Egger, we have many products certified by independent testing institutes. But we also test and monitor a large number of individual VOC substances, such as formaldehyde. But what is formaldehyde? Formaldehyde belongs to the volatile organic compound family and is therefore also present as a gas at room temperature. Therefore, the sources of formaldehyde are similar to other VOCs. They can also come from natural sources, such as plants, wood and fruit but also from artificial sources, such as varnishes, paints, insulating materials, disinfectants, wood-based materials, floor coverings or candles. The list goes on endlessly. Did you know that formaldehyde occurs as an intermediate product in mammalian cells during metabolism? In humans, about 50 grams are produced and broken down in this way every day. Can formaldehyde become problematic for humans? Only from a certain concentration in the air is formaldehyde considered harmful. In order to keep the concentration at a level that is harmless to health, there are different standards with limit values for wood-based materials depending on the region. Emission class E1 in Europe, Germany E1 E05, Tusker Title VI in the USA, CARB Phase II in California, and GIST standard in Japan, better known as F4 star. This ensures that the products are strictly controlled. EGA offers products suitable for all the above mentioned emission classes. You can easily find the formaldehyde emission class in the product description or technical data sheet. Thank you for watching our video. We would like to invite you to our website which contains interesting information about sustainable construction and healthy living with EGA wood-based materials. In case you have questions or you need certificates, please write us an email to environment at Thank you and goodbye.